I know some piano. No, clearly not. <laughs> What's going on guys? Welcome to Dope or Nope, the channel in which we rate products dope or nope or we count how many warts we have. I don't have any. One. And it's on my finger and I'm removing it. Did you just snap that? You have to remove it? No, it's just annoying. Your boy likes to be perfect. Wanna just fall off though? By itself? No. Yeah, Paul's did. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I have sandpaper. <laughs> Anyways, today we're reviewing 10 tech gadgets that are only found in Japan. And the idea here is that we're gonna rate them dope or no. So, I wore my Japanese shirt. Oh, you did. Yeah. First item. Oh, thank you, thumb extender for phone touchscreens. Wait, what? I don't understand. No, this is if you don't have a thumb. No, it's like for people like us who have the iPhone Max, where it's like so big that you can't like reach the top screen. Oh, if you have small hands. Can, yeah. So maybe like me, because you know I just got an average hand. No, you don't. Those are meat cleavers. Here. Mine are bigger than yours. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you hate it when your fingers can't get around the screen on your phone fast enough? Well, just slip on the thumb extender for I, uh, for phone touchscreen. I really want to say iPhone. Yeah. <laughs> no one else has another phone besides an iPhone. It's the one that exists. What an elitist. <laughs> Maybe. Sorry, I couldn't. You allergic to my comedy? Yeah. My brand of comedy? <laughs> my brand of comedy. Yeah, I just want to point out two things. A, she has such small hands. That just looks like a normal thumb to me, honestly. Looks like it's like a blue vein going through it. <laughs> Just oh yeah? <laughs> just don't want to hear either one of them talk. Can we just talk about how like distorted her arm looks though? Oh like, yeah, she's double jointed. Like, like her armpit is like one shade and then her arm is like completely She's different. just double jointed. Calm down. You guys are making fun of the wrong thing. <laughs> no, it's not even her arm. No, it's, that is I'm her pretty arm. Sure it's someone she's double jointed. Arm. Look at her shoulder and then look at her elbow. <laughs> yeah, that <laughs> no arm is photoshopped. Definitely not photoshopped. You guys are just making fun of this poor lady. Add to card! Wow. Can you understand that? Thank you. Yeah, Thumb extender. Open. Oh yeah, you're really good at reading this. Thank you. Chanel can actually read Japanese. <gasps> really? Chanel. I, <laughs> she gets all scared. She gets like, nervous ah. on spot. She's like, ah. Thanks, Liz. So it definitely extended my thumb. I'm gonna try and open up my phone here. It looks so disturbing. But let's try to do something here. Nice. <laughs> it works. Check this out. So I'm gonna try and add a little story here by clicking this little story icon. <laughs> Dude, look how awkward my thumb looks. It looks like it's broken. <laughs> I hate this thumb. Let's thumb more with it. See how it goes. One, two, three. I remember four, you had like a strategy thumb, that was one, like kind of five, six, six, seven. seven eight, oh, you know, you'll see it. Keep, keep your thumb, thumb straight. straight. Keep your thumb straight, brother. What? Tad team. <laughs> Tad team. I hate that. I, hate that. I read this. No. <laughs> how do I say this word? Fuka. Chanel, how do I say this word without it being bad? Yukon. Yukon. All right, that sounded worse. Fuecon. <laughs> Fue, it's not Spanish. I only know Spanish and English. You don't know Spanish. <laughs> Hola, me llamo Tanner y yo quiero tu boca en mi boca. <laughs> My head you in your head. You want his mouth on mouth. your mouth. <laughs> All the Spanish viewers like, oh no. Fuecon whistle control maglev linear L0 toy railway. Train playset. Is this supposed to be like a bullet train, I'm guessing? Yeah, they have really fast trains in Japan. Based on the L0 series of maglev trains developed by JR Central, the Fucon features a unique operating gimmick. By changing the way you blow the special whistle included in the set, you can make the train start, stop, and accelerate. Special whistle. I just don't like the power it gives the child, where it thinks if the child can just blow this whistle, things will move on its command. Because I feel like it's going to condition these children to go in public and just... I don't think so. I don't think it's that serious. That's what I would do. I'm just going to be upset if it doesn't include the costume. If it doesn't come with a sailor costume... It's not a sailor. It's not a, sailor. a conductor. <laughs> doesn't a sailor just conduct a boat? No. Add the cart. Whoa, look at that cool little train. Here's the whistle. Tanner, you're gonna control these? Yeah, I'll control this, no problem. We already had the Doper Nope team set up the track. They're gonna bring it in. Dude, you need the instructions. Oh, that I can <laughs> <laughs> You know for a second I believed you. Go slower and then louder. Is that Kanye? <laughs> Pretty cool, right? Can you go different speeds on that thing? No, blow harder and softer. <laughs> <laughs> All aboard! Oh, did it go? It's going. Stop! Thank you. <laughs> I want to do it like a little kid would do it, though. Hold your horses! <laughs> Wait. Yeah, it's fun. Can I make it go faster by blowing harder? That just got more annoying and less fun. I feel like a coach. <laughs> Dude, I'm getting a headache. It works. Oh, now it's going slow, so now make it go faster. 
Oh yeah, it did go faster. I think that was just because of the way the track was shaped. I can see you do it again right here. <laughs> <laughs> Told you, first try. Well, on that note, I made it a dope. I see this as a dope for kids and an absolute nope for parents. All right guys, this next product is a like to buy. And if you don't know what a like to buy is yet, let me tell you what it is, all right? It's a product that the Doper Nope team has found or one of us three lovely lads here. It's really cool. It might be expensive. It might take a lot of prep work or it's just super cringy. But before we buy it, we want to know if you guys would like for us to buy it, prep it, set it up, maybe even do a collab with another channel. We don't know, all right? So, Today's like to buy product is a mystery crate that you can buy from Holy moly. Etsy. The Doper Nope team had a wonderful idea of thinking, let's buy this crate if you guys would like and do a collab with Wrecked. Maybe destroy some things, see how many tests we can put these weapons to. Yikes, I'm scared. If you guys would like to see us buy this crate and do a collab with Wrecked, we'll have one of the guys come on the channel. I'll say give this video 200K likes because it will take a lot of prep. And it's expensive. So if you guys want to see this video, be sure to click that like button down below and be sure to comment the word. Uh, apocalypse, because these are all apocalyptic weapons. Next product, Fooey V Chocolat Digital Camera. Look at this, it's a piece of chocolate. Little piece Look of at chocolate. This. What's that pink stuff though? Chocolate. It's pink chocolate, <laughs> strawberry chocolate. Strawberry chocolate? You might just be tempted to nibble on this, but don't be fooled, it's not a snack. No, it's yet another super cute gadget accessory from Fooey the chocolate camera, a keychain digital camera. The goat's eating it. Is that even the product? <laughs> no, it's not. This monkey's 36 years old. What does that have anything to do? <laughs> oh, because you're taking photos of those things oh, with these the camera. Are the things that... It's a camera. It's oh a my camera. gosh, we're so stupid. Idiots! It's not actual chocolate. <laughs> Wait, you guys thought it was real chocolate? No! Oh, we just thought that maybe we were trying to look for the camera in those photos. Yes. What? Stop, you didn't know. <laughs> Stop, what do you, you mean? Know. There's a camera right there. You can tell somebody that's not Japanese wrote this because of this thing. It says the functionality has been deliberately kept simple. <laughs> so you can concentrate on the kawaii aesthetic. <laughs> Why would you need to concentrate on the kawaii aesthetic? Kawaii, it's like, okay, you clearly. <laughs> Kawaii. Tanner's on one today, dude. Dude, I've been watching anime nonstop last three months of my life, so you can say I've been prepping for this video. Colors, white, strawberry, milk chocolate. Strawberry's not a color, silly. Milk chocolate is. <laughs> Sold out, don't worry about it. Ha, click, 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 magic, magic. Your boy's magic. Oh, there it is. Mini toy digital camera. Look at this, dude. Whoa, that protrudes way more than I thought it would. It looks like a Rolo is stuck on top of that <gasps> chocolate bar. Rolo. Oh, those are so good. The best candy, right? Oh, but they're good. Here's the issue. This is just the worst camera you could probably possibly buy. That looks pretty cool though. That's the on switch. This thing is junk. Video impressions. Oh wait, no PC cam. Oh, whoa, that is what? it. That is it. What? Who developed this? That's beautiful. Look at that magnificent piece of software. Can you pull that picture up on the computer? <laughs> A1 quality. Dude, I want to post that. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's got to stay. That looks like your dad took a picture of himself. <laughs> That actually looks like art, dude. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to rate this one a nizzy no. It serves no purpose. It's not good chocolate. It's not a good camera. So what is it? Irrelevant. Oh Be gone. A toilet sound blocker. Eco mode. Melody ATO3201 from Japan. What is a toilet sound blocker? So I'm guessing you play it in order to block the sound of either your toots mm -hmm. or the flushing of the toilet, maybe. What's the scenario where you want to block the sound of flushing? There's a there's a scenario. It's you guys ever heard of um I can't remember the term for it, but it's when you know you poo once and then like you're still there waiting to keep it you know you're trying to finish the job but you want don't want it to smell out the room so you flush, so you right, flush away. right away double flush courtesy flush yeah so you want to block the sound of the courtesy flush so no one's like wow this guy needs to use a courtesy flush. <laughs> you know you don't want to admit to doing that why don't you just eat like metamucil so it just comes out fast so and then you can just do one flush one flush <laughs> <laughs> buy another oh. <laughs> that's tiny i thought it was going to be bigger yeah dude this is the sound it makes, everybody. I, that sounds like you're diving in the toilet. Sounds like you're in a garden. How do I stop it? There you go. Okay, so that to me sounds way worse than flushing. That to me sounds, sounds like pretending like squish grapes in the toilet. <laughs> you know what I mean? Wait, read the back. All right, read the back. It says um, place on the, uh, or you can hang it up, or you can glue it on the wall. I wish you could change the song. You could program it's it. It's not a song. <laughs> It sounds like mumble rap to me, dude. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get these screws out just in case. <laughs> 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 
That is the most realistic sounding fart machine I've ever heard in my I life. Love you that. guys looked at Liz so fast. I was like, cause it sounds like, like, <laughs> like she was just let out a fart like that on set. It sounds like she ripped the seat. I was like, wait, what? Yeah. I, it didn't sound like a fart at first. It sounded like stitching getting pulled up. Oh, that's so loud. What was that brand that said we had a lot of immature content? <laughs> I actually kind of have to toot right now. Should I try it? No, no, that's not gonna block the smell. <laughs> There's no <laughs> way that good. is overpowering the fart. I think a normal fart it might. That's not normal. No, I've heard yes. people fart loud. That's like an Arnold Schwarzenegger <laughs> fart. <laughs> I'm gonna say no. This is a no. Yeah, it's a no. Weep. We got Kyosho Egg Interesting RC Sugoi. Sugoi. Sugoi? Sugoi. Thank you, Mop. Chanel. Thank you, Chanel. Like for Chanel. Mop Remote Radio Control Cleaning Brush Japan. Wait, it's a radio and an RC? Radio control. Yeah, it uses radio <laughs> waves. I thought it was like both of them. Like there was a radio in it and it was RC. There is. No, there is. Radio yes. waves. Yes, why are you laughing at me? <laughs> I'm not laughing at you. Oh. Matt is coming for me today, you guys. <laughs> I was just laughing. He laughed first. Play back the tape. Tanner laughed at him first. Wait, it's a radio and an RC? Radio control. Yeah, it uses radio <laughs> waves. <laughs> So essentially, it's a remote control mop that takes your ultimate laziness to the next level so that way you don't have to get up and mop it yourself. Wait! Okay, you can proceed. <laughs> <laughs> we just got some new floors put into Orange Base, actually, so <gasps> let's we take did. this thing out and test them and clean up the floors a little bit, all right? Out of court! <laughs> Whoa! RC Sugoi. Nani. Ah, uh, this isn't gonna clean up that much, man. Yeah, why is it flipped up, dude? It's like Michael's hat hair. <laughs> it's flipped up. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. That moves fast. That cleans enough. Also, shout out to these fake two buttons right here. <laughs> Makes you believe like something cool's gonna happen. It doesn't. All right, should we take it out on the hardwood floors we got? It's in? making more of a mess than it's cleaning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's take it. Okay, so let's look at the bottom right now. You can see the bottom is relatively clean. Let's go out and then see if we can pick up some dust. It's been some... raining, so there's gonna be a lot of tra a lot of dirt from all the traffic coming in and out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of traffic from the dirt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's test it. All right, so uh, you can't really tell by looking at the ground right now, but this flooring was just put in and it is very, very dusty. Like, I'm sure I can just like do this and yeah, there's actually dust on my hand. You, yeah. Again, you, you can't see, see like, it, it's thing. dust. All right, let's do this. It's quiet. Did it work? Or is it just moving it to the side? I see an enormous flaw immediately. Do you guys see it? It's like the Roomba where it just bounces around yeah. the room. Maybe it's just Michael's navigation skills. Wait, there's dust right here. See if you can get that. Oh, you got some. What's he trying to do? Is he trying to race? <laughs> Hey! Robert, add some like smoke coming out of like doing donuts <laughs> in a parking lot. <laughs> I guess it does it, but it's not that efficient. Oh yeah. Got some. Got some. Ew, that's Ew. hair. What's the point of this stuff on top though? This is never gonna- Wait, happen. this little thing is the bottom of a RC car. It looks like a Corvette. It's like a little engine in there. <laughs> they legit just put a mop on top of it. Think smarter, not harder. I'm gonna have to say I'm no. Say no. Kutrofuku air conditioned camouflage jacket. That guy is a samurai fighter on look the at left. That. Look at how that guy's look like- stance. Look at how they're standing. They're like action figures. Yo, low key, that uh, black, gray, and- when you're fighting your enemy in the <laughs> field of combat, you want to blend into your surroundings but still keep cool. Are they, are they gonna explain camouflage in this? Part of the best selling Kuchofuku series of fan cooled clothing, the jacket is available in gray or green designs and features twin integrated fans on either side that will keep your torso at a cooler temperature even as the heat of battle soars. Yo, the gray jacket's kind of dope. I don't like the gray one though. It's like an aesthetic. I wear that with some nice white kicks. Yeah, I've seen these air conditioned jackets before, they're like plastic. Air conditioned jacket makes no sense. It's just canceling out, wear no jacket. No, no, air conditioning insulates. Yeah, what do you mean? Why don't I just not wear it and just wear no jacket? Insulation could keep things cool. Um, okay. That's not even a response. How about, <laughs> how about an air conditioned shirt then? Then the, the, it, you have to insulate it for air conditioning to not dissipate. Yeah, it, is, it insulates your skin, even more effective. What? Add to cart. I got, I like it, Liz. Thank you. Holy cow. Howly, Howly cow. Howly cow. Howling cow. I like that. Oh. <laughs> moo. Moo. Oh, that was bad. Look at this. It's just a fan. Look at all those wires, though. Just a fan. It's our biggest fan. Is the pocket used up? Oh, no. That's the battery right here. That's the control. No, stop. So you have to remove all of the cool air inside of you to turn it on and off? Fatal flaw. I hate that that's on the inside. That's because what I mean, just said. <laughs> no, I'm saying because it's going to attach Are you your... present for the second half of the shoot? What I'm the saying it for a different here? reason. I'm saying it for a even when it is closed, <laughs> even when you're circulating air, that's still gonna insulate and like touch your body. And like, it's gonna, the battery heating up is going to warm you up. Did you say that exact thing? What 
are you talking about? The, this battery, <laughs> as it gets used more, is going to naturally get harder, right? That's not thing <laughs> okay, let's turn it on. That's gonna keep you cool though. It's because you're in cool air right now. No, it's because of the laws of thermodynamics. <laughs> Actually, yeah, yeah, technically. Thank you, shake um, that hand. Evaporation. Evaporation is what will make your skin cooler, and that's why you sweat. So that if you are sweating, this will make you cool. Evaporation? You mean perspiration? What do you think perspiration does? It evaporates does? from your skin. Put this on, Tanner. Yes, sir. Oh man, you look like a little kid. <laughs> I haven't even closed it yet, and it's really cool. It is puffing up. It makes me look really, really fat, and I love it. I'm trying to cool my neck, I go in this position. Three, two, one, blast off. If you turn around, you can see some wires hanging out. If I turn around, so I can see them? Turn around, come here. <laughs> turn around and come here, okay. I just turned off your- oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is pretty good. It cools you, but boy, oh boy, do you have to be dumb to wear this because it is loud. Hey man, when it's hot, it's hot. I would say it's a dope, you know? It's a dope. I'll say it's dope because it does work. And it's not actually that ugly. Mike Hatsune, Pocket Miku, signing board. Could've just been Mike Hostune. No, it's Hostune. What? <laughs> you don't watch enough anime. <laughs> Yamaha, Otanu. Yamaha no. is amazing anime. <laughs> I love that one. It pretty much just says like senpai, kawaii. <laughs> <laughs> what is that thing? It is, as I say, a signing board. It's a singing keyboard, dude. <laughs> no, stop. I said signing the every single time I read it. Did you really? I'm dyslexic. No, I'm you're not. just dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get a couple other looks of it. What is that? Oh, it's a little keyboard. Does that say vibrate? Vibrato. Vibrato. Ah. Uh, why wouldn't you just do that yourself? <laughs> why wouldn't you just do it yourself? Vibrato is a wavering of notes. Yeah, well. Uh, well, because the piano will do it. The piano will waver between its notes. Like, what? I don't understand your question. I, thought, yeah. I don't know what this does yet, because I thought it's just something that helps you sing. I thought it's just like projects your no, voice. No, it has nothing to, to do, do with it. singing. Then why is singing the in the title? The piano The sing. keyboard is singing. You're not singing. It's a singing pia keyboard piano. I don't know. I've been distracted from this anime girl since the beginning, all right? So, <laughs> buy it now! <laughs> so the idea is that you're going to press on it and be like... Yes. Oh, yeah. I see that it has those little receiver things right there. What are those? Keys. Keys. <laughs> what, what, what is she standing on? on? The, receivers, <laughs> the receiver of your fingers? <laughs> Here's a picture frame. You can... <laughs> I just dude. talked about him making it through all of this and he destroyed it. I thought I was gonna actually get into that. Bump the volume. <gasps> Paul, this is starting to be our new toy in the office, dude. It is a keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm done. Done. <laughs> I know some piano. No, clearly not. <laughs> I do know some piano. <laughs> This is some like SNES music right here. <laughs> That's what I this is dumb. I'm gonna be honest, dude. This is extremely cool. <laughs> this is lit. In my opinion, hear me out, mega dope. I'll say it's a dope. I'm not giving it a mega dope. I'll say, yeah. Tim, you can definitely have this. Paul and I are jammed. I, this is gonna be in our office the entire time. It's Mapon communication toy. Well, that's enormous. The phone interactive companion. What? I don't understand what's happening. Why is it so big? I don't know. It's a companion, it says. Oh, no, look at the second picture. It's actually small. They just had a huge life size. Wait, what? Why? It's for the iPad. <laughs> <laughs> He's back. <laughs> the Finally. anime toy's gone, so I'm good now. Place the cute and plucky Mapon on your phone and he will answer you, tell your fortune, and even play games with your phone. This cheeky chap is your new companion to entertain you. He only speaks Japanese, but whatever your language skills, he will amuse and surprise you every day. In fact, if you get more than one, there are several colors. They will even talk to each other. And the best thing, Smapon doesn't even need batteries. What a horrible name, Smapon. Smapon? <laughs> it's for the iPad. <laughs> <laughs> there are no customer reviews here. Nobody's bought it. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's add this to car and see if he can really make us laugh, even though we speak English and he speaks Japanese. All right, so here it is. Oh, little sensors on the bottom that read your display. All right, so please put toward the front of the line of the smartphone. Dog. It does speak English. Let's eat. All Dude, right. it's like your phone brought into real life. It's, it's like, like a Tamagotchi through a phone. Yeah. It's like a Pokemon that- Oh, I'm just feeding him. You fed him through his butt? I don't like this. No wonder, you fed him through his butt. Oh, he's gonna love donuts. Pink Frank. <laughs> 
<laughs> I love this. This is kind of cute. <laughs> Dude, you would love this toy. All right, what else? We got love. What's the red and blue area together. What's that? What you doing? Testing our love compatibility. The feeling's not mutual yet. <laughs> <laughs> We're feeling that mutual yet. Yes. It just meant not mutual. It means one of us loves the other, but the other one doesn't love the other. Do you what? love me more than I love you? Heck nah, man. <laughs> one, two, three. Your relationship will get better. <laughs> <laughs> We're on a really rocky stage right now, dude. <laughs> Bring it in. Let's try. One, two, Stop. Three. The sound effects. Can I be friends too? You have a good friend. <laughs> it knows. <Aww. laughs> it knows. Alright, so what's the microphone? I'm a mimic you. Say something. I suck. <laughs> Tanner sucks. <laughs> oh, so it's to me now. <laughs> Doesn't work. Help me. Help me. Ni hao. <laughs> Chanel's deep side. It'd be cool if it just worked. It doesn't though. Move on, Michael. Move on with your life. I'm gonna say this is a dope. That's pretty fun for like to give to a I kid. I agree. I'm actually curious if Luna will like it. It's a dope and we're giving it to Matt Thias to give to Luna. Matt Thias. Nice product. Beauty voice trainer. Oh gosh. Look at the picture oh, of the gosh. woman on the bottom, the second pick on the this bottom one? in the corner. <laughs> yeah. She's like, ah! Uh, the beauty voice trainer helps you, <laughs> helps you what? Helps give you the dull set. What's a dull set? Dull. I've never heard of that word. It's for the iPad. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet and soothing. Sweet and soothing sounds. Dull set. I like that word. In just five minutes a day, the system works in three ways. Without training, the human throat is restricted. <laughs> the specially designed mouthpiece positions the tongue to open the voice passage, allowing a much stronger sound. Oh, I see. Repositions uh, the tongue. See, here's the thing. We shouldn't test this on you because you're a good singer already. Am I? Wow, that's nice. We should test it on one of us so we can see if our... Well, okay. I don't know your if you want to put this in your mouth and suck it, go ahead. Add to cart. Beauty voice. What's this? Was I supposed to be able to poke it through here? It's actually a try me. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a tuning fork? Yeah, a tuning fork. It's better if you hit it against like the table. It doesn't, yeah, isn't it supposed to last longer? Mm, it's a very solid G. You want to try it or you want me to try it? That's all you, man. Should I put this in water first? Why would that do anything? To get all the weird gunk off of it? No, the weird gunk is what's supposed to be in there. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Where did I put my tongue? On the in bottom it. of that. In it. Teeth go there, tongue goes on the bottom. Uh, oh. I don't want to see inside. <laughs> it's not a kazoo. <laughs> <laughs> do you find it helping? <laughs> I don't know what's supposed to happen. Just go through the nuts. Go. <laughs> he mooed like a cow. So what are you playing here? That? That's a note? Here. No, wrong. <laughs> this one, this one is... <laughs> I had to find it. <laughs> <laughs> I had to find it. Oh my god. This is the dumbest thing I've ever used. Then throw it away and rate it a no! Oh. Oh! <laughs> it was coming back at me! This has got to be the weirdest video. We've. Oh, what is this? So, back in the box with it. This is for when people in oh. Japan and like China are sick. They wear these because they're actually so polite. And correct me if I'm wrong, Chanel, but they wear these because they're so polite that they don't want to get anybody else sick. Not because other people are sick. And they yeah. also are a fashion aesthetic now. Yeah. Hey, Sinead, what's poppin'? Me and Tan Man and Matt here, we want to say thank you for joining the Dope and Hope Squad. If you guys want to join us and become a part of the family, be sure to check out that join button down below. Join and button down below. Bada bing, bada boom. Thank you guys for joining us. If you want to have some more laughs, this video right here is a video that's only for the laziest people. Do not click it if you're not lazy. If you are lazy, click it. Or I guess maybe click it eventually. <laughs> and this video right here, <laughs> this video right here is a video that YouTube recommends just for you. So if you did enjoy this with a family member or a friend, let us know down in the comments below what part you liked best. And we'll see you next time. Peace.